Good morning, everybody. This is Janice Parr, Parr for the Course. We are out at um, crash site. We had a little crash last night at the ACCA's. Dan Greider um, met a gentleman in the FBO and he said, I'd love for you to fly my 150 with me. Dan said, well, let's go. We've got a few minutes. They were just planning to make one little loop in the pattern. And so they did their pre-flight, checked everything. Everything was working great and um, got in the air. There's a little 400 foot stall runway they were using yesterday. And Dan just wanted to kind of come down and just check it out and just see, kind of see what the approach to that little 400 foot runway was. And so he comes around and puts in 10 degrees of flaps. All good, 20, 30, 40 all good because he really wanted to do that approach like the stole planes do and um, anyway they decide they're just gonna fly on down the runway take back off he gives it full power hits the flaps nothing and so we were all sitting over at the FBO and um, you know all of a sudden everyone's attention is to the runway so they are flying down the runway two five and they're not gaining altitude we watch there are at the end of at the end of this runway there are power lines and there are trees and so there's a slow turn that occurs and perfectly the exactly what you should do there's a cornfield comes down and literally the plane just finally stops flying it pretty much just sits down in the corn and what we see is uh, it goes below the corn all of a sudden the nose goes down, the tail goes up, and it does flip. But Dan, owner of the plane, get out, not a scratch on them, they were fine. Unfortunately, it's a beautiful little plane, but um, we're just glad everyone's okay. Just goes to show that you always need to keep those safety procedures in mind, no matter what, you're making a lap in the pattern, you never know what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. 